everybody, it's Shirley Smith from Caldwell Banker West, and welcome to this segment of Cruising Around Coronado. And uh, I just wanted to say, it's kind of my mission to serve the public here in Coronado and the IB uh, markets where I work a lot in, and I like to um, be able to support small business. And particularly this year has been so challenging with COVID. I um, really got this idea, uh, feeling inspired by watching all the businesses pivot and do whatever they could do to just keep going and keep serving their, their customers. So today I'm with Van too, and Hi. Van is nails by Van. Hi. And uh, she, I can, I can actually say that um, she is the best nail artist in all of Coronado because well, she's been you. my my nail artist for five years. Thank you, Charlie. You're welcome. <laughs> and. Um, this is a, she's in a, it's in a very unique situation. Van's got her own little private space, as you'll see, in um, the back of a Orange Avenue salon right here on Orange Avenue in Coronado. And it's very private and really conducive right. to COVID. I, I feel um, very safe working back here in this little, little room of mine. And my clients are all like really, they feel safe. They feel like they're not in a big salon with 20 people surrounding them. So it's just me and my client, like Shirley today, um, we're one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. so we're doing all, we follow all the CDC guidelines. We have our mask on, we um, sanitize our hands. As soon as you walk in the door, I scan your temperature, I put hand sanitizer. After every client, I thoroughly clean, spray down the room. I have my Plexa here. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's a sneeze guard and we have our mask on. So yeah, and then after every client, the room is empty for at least 15 minutes. So I feel like it's clean. So ready for the next client. <laughs> and you said too, mm -hmm. the, one of the best kept secrets here you right. were talking about is people love that they can come in and get right. their nails and this is a private yeah. room. And Most of my clients love it versus the big salon is because it's a private room. And especially my men, my male clients, they love it because they don't feel like they're in between other people. They feel kind of like it's a private area. So it's kind of tucked back here. Not too many people know I'm back here, but most of my clients are through word of mouth, of referral. course. Referral. So um, I feel like I only take appointments. I don't do walk-in, so there's no waiting in the lobby. Uh, as soon as my clients show up at the door, I'm ready to meet them. So it's always a one-on-one. -on -one. There's yeah. never anybody sitting around waiting. So there you go. So I feel like that's my advantage, so, um, especially during COVID. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. So with COVID, as I've been asking all of our other business mm -hmm. owners, what have you done to go above and beyond to serve your clients and to keep your business going, to keep you from fighting? Right. Well, this goes back in March with the, with the, the first shutdown. We, I mean, everybody has to close, right? So there's no opening of any source. So what I did is I call all my clients and I tell them the situation. I told them what happened and you know the, the situation that we're in. So I went, I think what I did that I, I think that is beyond um, my services here at the salon is that I offer them in-home services because at that time back in March, April, May, we were allowed to operate outside okay. like your manicure pedicure. That's what I call it. So I offer my client services like that. I do. I go to their house and we set. We have a little area in the backyard and we set up and I do my mani pedi for my clients out in the backyard. So they feel safe. They're comfortable with their house. And I bet they were happy. They were happy. We wore our mask. We sanitized everything, and they're happy. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like I think. So now, now the salon. I mean, I feel proud in the salon industry because I feel like we technically. I mean, really, we're really good. So we don't have that I know of that we don't have any community spread in the salon. So that's why we're able to open even during this purple tier. So um, I still. I'm able to serve my clients here in the salon, and um, and I think that's great because we did the extra precaution. We follow guidelines. And, and you said the guidelines. You told me the guidelines yeah. were changing all yeah, the time. All the so time. You have to be right on top. Yeah. Of it. So now because we we are able to open um, this, in addition to the CDC, we have the state board as well. So we have to follow their guidelines. So right now we cannot work outside of the salon establishment. So I'm not doing the house. Um, yard pedicure manicure anymore so i'm able to you yeah. know do it here do it here exactly yeah. and you know we went through the same thing mm -hmm. my office at Coldwell banker west is right. right down the street here from you right. 
and we haven't been able to have clients in or boardrooms. Mm -hmm. We only a couple people at once. Everybody's had to take uh, tests about protocols before. Right. So we're very much staying very strict with the guidelines, right. and we're committed to stopping the spread and letting this pandemic right. move through right. and move on, right. and so we can, you know, and all go yeah, and and enjoy more and exactly. more. Exactly, and it's it's affecting everybody. Sure. But we have to do our best um, yeah. to make this work. Right. As, and a we have. as a community. So. Yeah. And Van came to my home. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> and we just, uh, I did an outdoor yes. Manny Petty. Right. So that we was did our Manny Petty outside of the yard. So, yes, um, that was nice, though. Yeah, it did. was good. I, I, You're I, getting to see their homes. Yes, I did enjoy it. I really did. It's something else beside my establishment here. So, I feel like it was fun. It's something different. Yeah. So, the other thing I've been asking uh, that people are quite interested in, you know, this whole thing of COVID, it is a dark cloud. Right. And they say every dark cloud has a silver lining. Yes. Have you had a silver lining? Yes, my this? silver lining is, as, I mean, I put my time here in serving my clients, but yet I feel like it's a time that I could, I have more time now. Uh, I'm not working full time like I did, so I, I have more time to spend time with my family, especially the boys. My boys, I have two boys. One is 15 and the other is 12, seventh grader and 10th grader. So I feel my I feel like my civil lining is basically having more time, especially now with the kids are 100% distant learning because I live with I I live in Chula Vista, and it's a sweet water district. So right now as we speak, they're 100% distant learning. Okay. So I feel like okay, so maybe I'm not working as much, but yet I get the time, I have the time to spend with my family. I, I Precious can, hours that you'll never get back. Especially, I will never get back, age. and they need my support at home because of the distant learning. Yeah. So that would be my civil lining, yeah. spending more time with my family. Like we all have, right? We yes. all still have all these time with yes. us. I mean, this, maybe this is something that um, is telling us, hey, it's time to be with more with your family. Yeah. So. And one of the things I love about you, Van, and I'll, I'll tell a little secret here, Van's got a wonderful uh, family with uh, brothers and sisters and mom and dad still alive and well. Oh, here and in San Diego. Are, and they <laughs> all in San Diego and they do very much things together. I feel like I know Van's family because we always talk and I hear all right. the stories right. of what they're doing. But tell me what your family gets together once a week. You do karaoke. You yeah, do before, before COVID, we always have this routine that we always have. My mom always makes sure that she has I get together on a Saturday evening so that we all could catch up. All the brothers and sisters and cousins. As many <laughs> as whoever could show up. She she didn't pressure any of us, but whoever could show up before COVID. And we, we have this routine and this tradition always, my mom is always good at that. And she always had food for the family and all that. But with COVID, we could still do that, but outside. Yeah. So, I feel like, um, yeah, it's a little change, but I feel like we could use our yard because she has a beautiful yard. She has a big, beautiful yard with flowers and, you know, and then we just take it outside. We and we've had glorious weather. And we Why got beautiful so weather. Bad. We're lucky. We live in San Diego where we got beautiful weather almost every day. So, yeah, so instead of inside, we just take it outside. Yeah. There you go, and so we still have our gathering. <laughs> oh, well, that's really good. Yeah. I'm so glad to hear that, because yeah. I always hear all the stories about the family, and, yeah. and yeah. her mom and dad are the karaoke king and queen. <laughs> that's right. You know, we're Asian people. We love the karaoke. That's good. But yeah, but that, hey, that, and, and that's what kind of, you know, it's their happiness right now, especially now they can't really go anywhere. So yeah. we took my mom and dad just at home by themselves. They do their thing. They you sing away. <laughs> and you, you told me you, you wear your masks yeah. in the backyard. Yeah, we have and our little family. tray yeah. as a family. Yeah, you can still do it. I mean, yeah. nothing is stopping us. Oh, there's you know, there's way. You just follow your distance, social distance. Uh, it's nice do. that you're showing your yeah. boys that no matter what life brings no you, no matter you what, can find we a way. can still find a way. There's always a way to be with your family. I love that. Absolutely. And that's, that's one of the reasons I started this broadcast. I Absolutely. love that people, you know, Americans, we find a way. You know, yes. We find a way. Where there's we'll, a will, there's a way. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we so, can still be safe and still do what we do, right? Well, come and see Van with Nails by Van. Yes. And, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, this, this is great. All this is a great opportunity for me, home. yes. Yeah. Because not too many people know I'm back here. So, no. I mean, any support helps. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you, Van. Absolutely. And, you too, you know, if anybody here, uh, I understand San Diego is the busiest market right now in, San, in uh, real estate in all of California. People are moving here because we've got the weather and we've got a uh, beautiful diversity in, uh, in yeah. our suburbs and different mm -hmm. from the beach to the mountains to the desert. It's lovely. So 
give me a call if uh, I can answer any real estate questions for you. And we'll see you cruising around Coronado next week. Bye. Awesome. Bye. <laughs>